Hi, my name is Alain Pinsonneau. I'm the Masco Chair of Information Technology at this hotel faculty of management of McGill University. My research interest basically is focusing on the impact of IT on everything. Hello, my name is Emma Vass. I'm a professor of information systems at the Desotel Faculty of Management. And my research interests are on dynamics of identity in online communities and with social media in general. Information technology is affecting work, uh, several dimensions of work. Uh, it's, made, it's, it's creating new jobs, it's eliminating some jobs, it's profoundly changing existing jobs. We're focusing uh, on a research that Emma and I just uh, finished and it was recently published in Emma's Quarterly that talks about how digital technology enables and threatens occupational identity and how data scientists uh, cope with that. Uh, so we're basically looking at the impact of IT on, dig on occupational identity and how digital scientists deal with this tension, the tension associated with that. Occupational identity is the idea of how people are able to define themselves with regard to their work. So usually we think about occupational identity as the answers to the question of who are we and what do we do with, related, with regards to our work. And it's very important to be able to have an occupational identity that's fairly clear, right? What is a journalist? What is a data scientist? What is a professor? What is an accountant? We know what these occupations are and what they do. And being able to have a fairly clear occupational identity uh, is, is important for people to be able to give meaning to their work. Occupational identity can change over time in the long run because context change, because new New technologies, including digital technologies, come uh, over time. So it's usually, it can be stable for now, but it's going to be changing. What we show in our study is that actually there may not be anymore this idea of stable for now occupational identity. Maybe the constant shift in occupational identity are what is happening now and what will continue to happen in the future. It was more than 10 years ago, uh, many, many students talked to me about wanting to be a data scientist. I decided to try to see what uh, these data scientists were doing and who they were. And to do so, I started to follow the, uh, the past and the discussions on an online community called Data Science Central. And what was really surprising was that data scientists themselves didn't seem to really know who they were and what they did. So the question that I was myself asking as, as a non-data scientists were questions that many data scientists themselves asked. So this really made us, uh, made both of us very curious about the occupational identity of data scientists. So we decided to dig into this and we realized that digital technologies were really at the core of many things, of many of the tensions related to occupational identity that data scientists experienced. Digital technology makes the boundaries between occupation fluid, and it's it's made the changing the change ver happen very fast. Um, it rests on two fundamental characteristics of of uh, information technology or digital technology. The first one is uh, often called convergence, and it's the ability of information technology to integrate things, people, uh, objects that were separated in the past and were not connected and it integrates them in a way that changes occupation. The second key characteristics of digital technology uh, is the idea of generativity, that, that is often called generativity, which is that technology constantly evolve and quite rapidly. So it brings attention of, this, of obsolescence uh, and how you know, the jobs and occupation stay uh, and persistence and obsolescence. And that's true for all digital technology and data scientists uh, especially. They fundamentally rely on digital technology to do what they're supposed to do. The second characteristic is digital technology is at the core of their very existence. It's the core of their job. And it's quite ironic that these tools might actually replace data scientists because it's automating their job. So they're working with the tool to create a tool that might replace them as, as an occupation. The data scientists that we study were very aware of this and they, they were 
very often talking about how they were developing these new tools, these uh, AI technologies in particular, and how they were making themselves obsolete while doing so. And, and we call this persistent extinction. Many occupations uh, are very affected by digital technologies today. So these dynamics of identity is a need to constantly redefine what we do and how different are we from other occupations and are we making ourselves obsolete. So this is a, a qualitative study, and what we did was we both did some interviews of data scientists, but mostly we uh, collected some data from Data Science Central itself. Um, so the interviews were uh, interviews of data scientists, um, and also of members of data, among which were members of the, the online community of Data Science Central. So all of the blog posts, all of the discussions that took place for six years in Data Science Central. And this was a really a nice data set because it enabled enabled us to observe change over time. Um, and, and from this six-year data set, we were able to identify what we called episodes, uh, in which the identity work, so the ways in which this, the data scientists struggled with defining themselves, um, were, particularly, uh, were pa particularly relevant. One of the key findings in this idea is that digital technologies make it that on occupational identity cannot be considered stable for now anymore. So it's going to be changing over time. And there's this push and pull of considering the digital technology as both an enabler of technology and a threat to technology. And it's really important to try and understand how this push and pull is actually happening and how people, the members of this occupation, are able to solve the tensions associated with the occupational identity. This has uh, important implication for research, <clears throat> for any scholar who study technology and, infra and digital technology, uh, because these tensions that we observed and the way data scientists manage these tensions, uh, the tensions are present in almost any digital technology, implementation of any technology. If we think about AI, for example, AI is implemented in numerous you know, contexts now, uh, and it challenges one fundamental principle of management, which is if you're responsible for something, you ought to be in control of that thing. And what AI does fundamentally is it dissociates that. It takes over the control of some part of the job and some part of what is done. But in the end, human is always responsible for the decision and for what happened. The first thing I think it's it's understanding technology, understanding what the technology does, what it doesn't do, um, and, and what it does well. Uh, looking at the job from a holistic point of view and, and, and our own occupation, our own work from a holistic point of view and understanding how technology fits in that. Um, and, and you know allowing technology to do what it does best creating some slack and allowing the individual to focus on something else that adds value. So you constantly have to rethink how new technology will come and how that will redefine your job and how you need to redefine your job. Um, that's, that's what we draw in terms of practical implication here. Research clearly show that people having a meaning in their work and, and, and value in what they do is fundamental to you know, motivation, to performing, to, to enjoying the work.